Hello everyone, Denise here. Today I am doing a review on the Knitter's Pride hooks that I purchased on Premier's website. They have a lot of the Knitter's Pride brand on their website as far as accessories and stuff. I did pick up some of the sock blockers. I have been looking for those sock blockers forever, so I got a small, medium, and large of those. Uh, but these hooks I have read that uh, they are similar to Clover. So I immediately, of course, was like, yes, I need to know. So I picked up five of these. They are $3.79 each. When you go up in size from these sizes, I do believe they go up to $3.99. Uh, I don't, I'm not really sure how high they go up because I didn't double check on that. But these uh, individually were $3.79 each. So let's get started. I have some yarn here that I found in my stash a while back. This is some Premier yarn and it is gorgeous and I can see why I held on to it. This is Isaac Mizrahi. Isaac Mizrahi. He is a fashion designer and this, this was designed by him, I would guess, because it has his name on it. I got this a long time ago. The label says 2015 and that feels right in my brain. Uh, color is Pratt. It has rainbow threading through it on the end here. I'll show you. See, it has a strand of the beautiful rainbow. They don't sell this yarn anymore. You could probably get it secondhand, uh, but it is 40% acrylic, 31% superwash wool, 29% polyamide. This is a yarn. I used part of the skein on a, I made like a necklace to go around some Christmas lights, like a Christmas light necklace, and it was really pretty. Anyway, I kept this because I thought it was gorgeous and I am right. So it calls for a 6mm or J hook. Looking at the strand of it, I probably would use a 5.5. So I'm going to grab the 5.5 because I feel like maybe even an H would be okay with this. So I'm going to open one of these up. This is the 5.5. The grip feels nice on it. These do not need to be cut. I can pull this out. They're just little elastics. It is lightweight. It's a little short, but I want to compare it to a clover hook. So this is a smaller clover hook, but it's still intact. It's not naked like the rest of mine. Oh, it is very similar. Um, grab a boy or boy equivalent. Okay. So it is more like a boy. Find a larger... I'm gonna look for a larger clover. So I can compare this. Ah, yes. These are my naked ones. So this is a 6mm. So it is, I mean, it's not crazy different. Put it down here. Problem is, if I'm looking at it, it's hard for you to see. It's also hard to hold. So the clover comes down as far as the head. The clover comes down quicker. So it's it's more of a drop in the head here. It, this comes out more like a boy hook. 
And this is a crochet society hook. And I'm not sure if it's a boy, but it is as close to a boy as I own because I, I don't really own them. So let's compare just those two. I'm having a hard time holding on to them. So the Knitter's Pride hook comes out a little further, but overall I do think it's very similar to the Crochet Society hook. As far as how the head goes up, it's not rounded, yet it's not pointy either. So it's it's kind of a mi mix, mishmash, mishmash. Mish, mish, milama. So, <clears throat> yeah, it is definitely more like a boy hook than a clover amour. But it's also different. So it's its own thing, which is cool. Everyone should be their own thing. <laughs> so I am going to grab some of this beautiful yarn and I'm going to play with it. I need to figure out what I'm going to do with this partial skein. Oh, so it's very light, as you can hear. This is not rubber, it is plastic, but it does have a feel of some sort of coating. It has a, a, a soft coating on it. This is not engraved. So that eventually will probably rub off. It is very well set in its sleeve here. Might actually be glued. So let's give it a whirl. It is quite short in my hand. I will turn my hand so that you can see. I should have measured it. See, it's hit me right in, right at the end in the nook of my hand here. Let me measure it really quick. So we have a measurement on it. I'm thinking it's around five something inches. Get it up here so you can see it. Yeah, we're at about, we're at about five and a half inches ish. So it's just a little bit short for me, but I, I do have larger hands. The shaft is smooth. It's nice. The head of the hook doesn't seem to be giving me a problem at all. The only issue I could feel with this is the way it's rubbing my hand once I used it for a long period of time. It would, it would get to me just like the, um, what were they called, the Athena crochet hooks. Those hit me in that same exact spot. Although those were, I feel like they were less soft. This is a pretty soft hook as far as touch. It is not a soft material. It doesn't have give to it. It's not rubberized. It's not silicone. I do believe it is a plastic handle with a light covering of something. It seems to be doing very well as far as crocheting though. So my one complaint would be a little bit longer. Um, and these are because of me. Longer and thicker handle. I know as you go up in size, they get thicker, but that's just because the hook is larger. 
but as far as me using the hook for long periods of time, no, I probably will not. Uh, it's a good hook though. For $3.79, this is a heck of a hook. And you can get a whole set for not, not a bad price. Would I choose them over any other hook that I own? No, I, I don't think I would. I mean, they're, they're fine. There's nothing wrong with this hook other than my needs as far as a hook needing to be longer and thicker through this area. Uh, but I, I don't think I would grab for these. Oops. I don't think I would grab for these just because of those factors. I, I don't see myself wanting to use them more. But that is based on, you know, me and my needs. So, but they're a good hook. They'd be a great starter hook. They are Gosh, they're, I mean, they're pretty basic. They're not, um, they're a hook. <laughs> like, I, I don't know really how to say it other than it's a basic hook and it gets the job done. Um, it, it's not a bad quality hook, but it is just a basic hook. There's, there's not a lot of specialness to it. It would be a good basic hook to take on the go with you. It would be a good basic hook, hook set to give to somebody if you wanted to gift somebody something. They're not into the bright colors, uh, the rainbow colors that you can get hook sets in. This would be a nice alternative for somebody. They are not like the clover hooks. Um, I cannot get speed with this. When I try to go faster, then I start to slip out of my stitches. So the this part here, how it comes out a little more, that prevents me from being faster. And that is why I like the clover amours. They have, they have an escape, a quicker escape out of the stitches. But this is a decent hook. I, I mean, it's all fine tuned to my opinion and my hand and the way I crochet. So if my hands were smaller, and I wasn't already a diehard for Clover Amour. And I didn't have uh, carpal tunnel slash arthritic issues. Heck yeah, I would jump on this hook in, in a heartbeat. So minus my issues, it's, it's a decent hook. So I, I'll give it, since there's not a lot of extra going on with it, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. It's Definitely far better than like a basic metal hook because of it has the handle here. Um, it doesn't have any defects. The aluminum is smooth and nice. So it is a bit smaller even than, um, even than a metal hook. I feel like this is smaller. Where are my metal hooks? I need to move some stuff. 
So this is a basic metal hook and it is shorter than a basic metal hook. So th that might be an issue for anyone that uses it because a basic metal hook is as basic as you can get. So uh, if you're using the Susan Bates aluminums, then you, you'll find these a bit short as well. This is a tad bit shorter than the metal hook. So the shortness might be an issue for more than just me, more people than, than just myself. So I, I'm going to stick with the seven out of 10, about 70% out of a hundred percent. It just feels, it feels better than a basic hook, but that's, that's where I stop. It's just better than a basic hook. So if you're interested in looking for better than a basic hook, these are affordable. Like I said, they're, $379 each. Uh, if you want to buy a whole set, it's not a terrible price, but if you're looking to invest in a tool set, a whole set of these would run you right around what Clover are going for on Amazon right now. So I would second, second think that, you know, I'd, I'd take pause there because if I was to recommend a set that was affordable, it would be the Clover hook set the Clover Amore set. They're running around $30, $38, dollars right now, which is really nice because they were high for quite a while. So seven out of 10 is my uh, review score for the Knitter's Pride hooks that I purchased from Premier, Premier Yarns website. They are, they are better than an average basic hook. So I will leave it at that. I thank you so much for watching and until next time guys, bye.